Yo, what is up guys? We are back today for another live in the UU tier. Suspect test UU tier. They are suspect te uh, suspect testing, excuse me, Alakazam. So we're going to be playing a couple of games with the team that you guys saw in the replay video from yesterday. Now, I just wanted to point something out. A viewer actually pointed out to me that Wabafet can't use Shadow Tag uh, right now because it was banned to Ubers. And I did know that, but I did not remember it during the battle or during the replay. So uh, regardless, we won doesn't really matter but we've got that same team today here and I'm really curious to see how it's gonna function when it's not against uh, stall teams like the one we played yesterday I don't even know if I can qualify that as stall but anyway we're just gonna jump into it here you guys saw the majority of the sets uh, I think the only one was Slurpuff but Slurpuff is standard belly drum with return got a fan offensive Dawn fan obviously Stealth Rock Setter uh, Azelf, which is very easy to counter, but uh, only if you have something to do that to actually counter it on your team. So, uh, this guy's got a ninja ask. Okay, so we're still near the bottom of the ladder, but this is a, don't sleep on this team. This is actually very, very threatening, especially because of the Salamence. Luckily, we have Slurpuff, so he can never lock himself into Outrage, or he just straight up loses his Salamence. Gotta make sure Slurpuff doesn't get weakened. Uh, if we can weaken the Agron to about 42%, I believe, Slurpuff can knock it out. I'll run that calc when we get to there, but anyway, against this team, what I want to do is just straight up lead with my Dawn Fan, I believe. Since we do have the Sturdy, we can pretty much beat any Mon on his team. Um, alternatively, I could just get up Rocks, but I think Dawn Fan is my play here. As he leads with his Ninjask, so... I'm just going to attempt a knockoff right here. He's going to U-turn. That's going to do a lot of damage, actually. He might be banded because uh, we are, of course, a Dawn fan. So uh, we're going to be able to get rid of this Mamoswine's Choice Scarf, which is really nice. I just want to calc that damage really quickly. Uh, Ninjask, PU Offensive. This thing is Choice Banded, okay, versus uh, Dawn fan, the Offensive Spinner. U-turn, yeah, so it's definitely banded. Uh, now his Mamoswine can obviously knock us out We do have a physically defensive Arcanine that can take this thing on though, so I'm not too worried I doubt he'd go for Earthquake right here as he does not and now he definitely doesn't knock us out with an Earthquake I don't believe um, Just gonna run that calc as well Arcanine UU defensive versus Mamoswine uh, Let's say UU Sash lead because that doesn't give it a band Earthquake Fails to knock me out, but I think Flamethrower is not doing that much either. Um, hold on. Flame Thrower. I don't believe we're in fish. We are. Let's give ourselves not modest, but uh, timid. Flamethrower. Um, is that because he doesn't have the thick fat? Why is this thing not thick fat? Hold on. Thick fat definitely does not knock him out. So what I'm going to do is just throw out a Wisp here. As he chooses to go into his Salamence and get it burned, actually. So that's kind of cool. Hopefully he's not Lum, and as he is not. And we will be able to switch into our Vaporeon and wish up our Dawn Fan. So that's pretty good, as I am just going to throw off that Wish right now. And if he goes into his Jolteon, then I'm going to protect to see what it potentially locks itself into. He actually chooses to go Florgis, so very nice. We are a Salt Vest Dawn fan. We can take the Moon Blast, I think even from Specs Florgis, not that anybody runs that. But we will just go into the Dawn fan as he chooses to Calm Mind, which is very nice. And his Earthquake switch-ins are extremely limited, so I'm just going to fire that off right now. We are offensive, so we should be able to two-hit KO Florgis, I believe. And Stab Earthquake coming off of a lot of attack. He is indeed faster than us though, and we do fail to knock him out, so what I can do here is go Arcanine, I guess, is okay, because he's only at plus one. Um, yeah, Arcanine's okay. We'll just do that. We can wish uh, up our Dawn Fan later again, as he goes for another Moon Blast, which is fine. We do have the Morning Sun to heal back up, and we'll just throw out another Wisp right here, as he chooses to go right back out into Salamence, so... Uh, I'm just going to Morning Sun, gauge the damage on his Earthquake. He's Intimidate, so I think he can switch up moves. Um, he is just going to go for the Earthquake, as you can see that does absolutely nothing. And we are wearing this thing down. And I can just go into my Zelf here, actually. And as he goes for another Earthquake, which is great, as now I will be able to get up my Stealth Rocks. And nothing that his Salamence can go for at this point will take us out. I don't think anything will even knock us down to our Sash, so this thing might be Scarfed. Uh, we'll see. He goes for the Dragon Claw, though. 
gets a crit, so obviously that would have done absolutely nothing. And his next move will do nothing as well, so I'll just be able to throw off a Psychic right here. His floor just is weakened down to 64%, which means after Stealth Rocks, uh, it goes down to Earthquake plus Ice Shard, I believe. So, we're, we're sitting pretty here. We're in a good position. I'm going to start the timer on him, see if he makes his move relatively quickly. He doesn't have a good Psychic switch in other than Aggron, so... Uh, yeah, I figured he'd stay in here. Get a special defense drop, not that that matters. Well, since he roosted, it does matter. And, um, just gonna throw off another Psychic here. As he goes into his Florges, which is two hit KO'd? No, no it's not. Uh, I'm just gonna taunt here though, to keep him from going for Wish. And then I'm just gonna throw out another Psychic. And, uh, Moonblast should... Maybe, maybe take us out. I'm not sure. Uninvested though. Maybe not. So, we're going to be able to weaken this floor just regardless, put it in range of rocks. He does not have a defogger other than the Salamence, but if the Salamence is carrying Earthquake and Roost, I very much doubt it would have defog. Maybe it could potentially have defog, but... Uh, alternatively, instead of taunting, what I could do is go Arcanine, as we know this thing does absolutely nothing to us. And then I can just roar around his team as well, so... I uh, just don't want him going for Wish right now. Uh, I'm just going to taunt. Uh, sorry, I already taunted him. What, what am I saying? Uh, what did he go for? He went for Synth. Okay, so he doesn't even have Wish, which is really good. Uh, as now he's forced to Moonblast us. Uh, and I can just throw off another Psychic here. I didn't even see that turn go by. What the heck was I looking at? <laughs> Alright, well, um, yeah, we're definitely in a very good position here. So, I'm not worried about this game at all. I think we've got this one in the bag. Anything could happen, but that banded ninjask is a little bit of a... It's uh, it's very scary. But as long as we keep our Dawn Fan alive, we should be good. It does take 50% from rocks on switching, so really not a big issue. Uh, Dawn Fan can pretty much clean up his team as soon as the Mammoth Swine is gone. He can Ice Shard the uh, Salamence. He can Earthquake the Florges, Earthquake the Jolteon, which is obviously faster than us. But, I mean, his Florges doesn't doesn't Oko Dawn Fan from the range it's at without the plus one from Calmine, so... He's actually going to switch directly into this Jolteon, which is a little surprising. That thing is going to take a massive amount of damage. And he's pretty much forced to... to do what? Go for HP Ice here, I guess? Um, don't really want to stack my Slurpuff. as a pretty good matchup against his team as well. What do I want to go into here? I guess... I mean, I guess I could stay in. I don't lose anything from just attacking as he goes for Thunderbolt. And he is Life Orb, so that's good to know. And, um... He's probably gonna have HP Ice on this thing. Maybe not in this tier, but... Can't really risk that. Uh, Don Fan does knock it out with Ice Shard, I believe. And, uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go Don Fan and just hit the Ice Shard. And take out his Jolteon. There we go. Knocked out. Offensive Don Fan's really strong, man. It's really, really good. Uh, he does have Synthesis on his floor just, but he can never go for it as long as Dawn Fan's in. He has to attack, basically. Um, yeah, Slurpuff just wins this game at this point, I think. I just have to get a little bit of damage off on the aggron, like I said at the very beginning. And pretty much all of my Pokemon do that. Uh, whether it be Dawn Fan, uh, I get a Flamethrower off with the Arcanine. I can Will-O-Wisp it as well to keep myself from getting knocked out. Uh, Sceptile puts in a lot of damage on it as well with Focus Blast, so... Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much a uh, Slurpuff sweep at this point. I'm just going to uh, pause it until he makes a move, guys. He's taking some time picking uh, picking each one of his moves, so we'll be right back. All right, so he uh, finally picked his Mon that he wanted to go out into, and he chose to go into Salamence. Not exactly sure why. Ice Shard definitely knocks this thing out. Oh, wait, never mind. He's very, very defensive. Um, now I'm kind of scared that he might go for the... Uh, the defog here. My rocks won't be able to stay up. I'm just gonna go for the knockoff though. Get rid of his item. And uh, I'm gonna switch out here into my Arcanine as we saw before. It can take hits for days. I didn't. I don't even think he had an Intimidate on him before uh, when he went for Earthquake. So he is gonna get off a defog unfortunately. So I won't be able to roar him around. But uh, I am going to uh, go out into Vaporeon here actually. And as he roosts. And he's going to run out of roosts at some point, so he doesn't have his Jolteon to threaten us out anymore, so I can basically just wish and pass right into my... Uh, alternatively, I can Scald as well. Um, I think Scalding might actually be the better play here. Yeah, I'm just going to Scald, because I already showed Wish, and he, s he sees my playstyle, he sees that I'm p playing very passively and just switching around a lot and healing things up, and I want to play a little more aggressive now. 
now that I know his uh, his men says defog roost uh, it only has dragon claw and earthquake in its burn so unless his floor just has aromatherapy which it could it definitely could uh, we also outspeed his floor just I believe uh, maybe not maybe not got to check that out how much does floor just hit floor just uh, defensive support it's 186 uninvested so yeah it actually is faster than us but like I said before, Slurpuff just puts in a, a ton of work. All I have to do is get a little bit of damage on the Aggron, and we just click Belly Drum and win. So, he's going to go into his floor just. He's going to take a Scald. Uh, he's not going to get burned, unfortunately. He is going to be able to go for the Wish right here. Uh, but I'm actually just going to Scald again. Uh, he has Synthesis. Sorry, he doesn't have Wish. So, we're going to try to get a burn. Uh, I'm going to Scald again. And I'm just going to try to repeatedly get a burn on this thing, and as we, as we do right there. And I'm going to be able to roar him out right here. So if he wants to aromatherapy, that's fine. His floor just is getting right the heck back out of here. So we waste an, arom an aromatherapy right there. As his, a his Salamence comes back in, so that's fine. Uh, now I want to play a little bit more aggressive. Uh, he did get the aromatherapy off, so his Salamence is a little bit more of a threat. But I'm actually going to go... Do I want to go into Sceptile and fire off a Leaf Storm? I could do that, yeah. Um, I mean, when his floor just switches in, obviously. But, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into Sceptile right here as he goes into floor just, which is awesome. And we'll be able to Giga Drain without Mega Evolving, I think, is the play. We have 309 Special Attack. That's more than Orion. It'll do about the same amount of damage as before. Um, but I'm pretty sure he's going to be tempted to go for the Moon Blast right here, as he does, which is awesome. And he gets the special attack drop, unfortunately, so we're not going to be able to knock this thing out, even with a Leaf Storm, I don't believe. Well, we did 23, so maybe. Definitely after Mega Evolution. Yeah, I'm just going to Mega Evolve and go for the Leaf Storm right here. And uh, knock this floor just out. Awesome, okay, so we are able to get rid of his main source of healing up his team. And he goes into his Ninjask right here. So I'm going to go into my Arcanine, as this thing cannot touch Arcanine with Flying and Bug Stab, so... Uh, he's also going to take Rocky Helmet if he hits us with the U-turn, which is great, as he is going to U-turn, and that's going to do absolutely nothing. He's going to take 16% from that, and I'm really glad I made that play with Subtile, so. Uh, his Aggron chooses to come in. Not sure why, just going to Whisk here and burn this thing. Hopefully we hit as we do, and now our, um, our Slurpuff definitely wins, so. Just going to Flamethrower here now that he is pure Steel type. He's going to take a lot from that, 44 gonna go for the earthquake that's gonna do absolutely nothing we're just gonna morning sun up again and uh, on the next turn I think I'm actually gonna switch out into my dawn fan to get the spin-off <laughs> the spin-off <laughs> this isn't a this isn't a TV show um, he can't really do anything to me he can earthquake all he wants but as you can see it does absolutely nothing it does 21% so much longer of a game than I wanted it to be I just wanted to, to get it over with the with the uh, stealth rocks up but doesn't look like that's going to happen. He's actually going to go into his Mammoth Swine right here. Uh, again, I can Will-O-Wisp this thing, but it can knock me out with an Earthquake at this point. So I think I'm just going to go into... Actually, this thing is a little bit of a threat now. Um, I think I have to stay in. What did we calc before? Mammoth Swine, UU, Sash Lead versus Arcanine. This is going to be with the Intimidate. So he did that with the Intimidate without it. Uh, let's see. Take away Intimidate for a second. That's Adamant, by the way. It's Calc on Adamant. Uh, he does max 92 on Adamant. So, And he was Choice Scarf, so he definitely could be Adamant. I'm just going to Wisp this as well. He goes for the Earthquake, fails to knock us out. And we miss Wisp. Awesome. All right. Well, this thing just became a huge-ass threat. Um, yeah, I got to go... I gotta go for another Wispy, he can Earthquake me as many times as he wants now. And now he can just Ice Shard my whole team, which is really obnoxious that we missed that Wisp. I'm gonna have to throw out a Scald right here, he has to keep his Mammoth Swine, he absolutely has to. But his Aggron's in range of Drain Punch, so I think we're pretty much good now. Uh, as long as his Ninjask... His Ninjask shouldn't outspeed Slurpuff, no it doesn't. With a speed boost up it would, but otherwise no. Um, yeah, I just have to get the right opportunity to get my Slurpuff in. Which would probably be on Mints. Uh, Earthquake won't do anything. Yeah, that's that's going to be my play. He's going to knock me off here. I'm going to go for the Scald. Uh, it's going to knock out his Mammoth Swine, luckily. 
And uh, now we still have Sceptile in the back and stuff, so we should be okay. We should be okay with just Dawn Fan, actually. Dawn Fan will, uh, will put in the work. Losing Arcanine was very, 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 very unfortunate, but there's nothing I could do about that. His knockoff did a lot, wow. We're not physically defensive, we are specially defensive Vaporeon, but I'm still surprised by that damage. Uh, he can now go into his Ninjask and do a lot of damage. Can he put my Slurpuff out of range of Citrus Berry? Belly Drum versus Ninjask. I don't even know. Ninjask. Uh, offensive. Aerial Ace. Um, maybe not. Maybe not. We'll see. We'll see what he wants to do here. Uh, I definitely need to keep my Dawn Fan. It just beats his Salamence. Uh, that Ice Shard did nothing, though. That was extremely surprising. Uh, it did 26%. So without the Intimidate, it does about 39, which is still nothing. Uh, I am going to go for the Protect right here, just to see what he wants to do. He's going to go for the U-Turn. Now, we know that that's more than likely not going to knock us out. And the good thing is that I can also throw up a Wish right here and gain back my health. We do fall to 5%, but that's fine. He's going to go into Salamence. That's okay as well. And how much does his Salamence do to Dawn Fan? Let's see. Salamence. I have to calc uh, defensive. That means no attack investment. So Dawn Fan should be okay to live. Dawn Fan. Offensive spinner. After the Intimidate Ice Shard. Actually. Uh, he has even more defense investment than that. So, he definitely can't knock us out with a Dragon Claw, I don't think. Dragon Claw. Uh, let's say he's not timid. Let's say he's jolly. It does 31 max. So, even with a little bit of an investment, he probably can't knock us out. Um, yeah, I think healing up Dawn Fan at this point is fine. This is going to go into his Ninjask, so... We're going to be able to heal up Dawn Fan, and now what I can do is actually go into Vaporeon. If he chooses to lock himself into Aerial Ace, I'll go back into Dawn Fan and get off a spin. Uh, if he chooses to lock himself into U-Turn, then I can go into Slurpuff and just go for the Belly Drum. And U-Turn is resisted, and we're going to get off the Belly Drum right here. He can't go into anything, everything goes down, so... Uh, all we have to do is, well, we can hit return on the uh, on the ninjas. That's fine. We are 534 speed. Yeah, we definitely outspeed it. I'm just gonna go for a drain punch right here. That's fine. He can go into a salamence, but he's running out of switches at this point. I'm gonna get it back a little bit of health. Not that it really matters. We'll be able to knock out the rest of his team. I was working for the slurp buff sweep. You guys didn't really get to see it yesterday. It got knocked out immediately, but uh, no, actually, I don't think it ever even got knocked out we pulled a nice switch with it but he has 460 speed max so we'll be able to just go for the return right here we know he's banded we'll be able to knock this out and then we can just go for the play rough on the salamence and should we fail to hit the play rough we still have septile in the back plus ice shard so that's all good he's gonna forfeit there i don't know why people don't let me get my last kill <laughs> it's really annoying but that was a very long one that took 18 minutes to get through sorry you guys had to sit through that i'm glad i paused it when i did but uh, that, that was a lot longer than it needed to be thanks to the Salamence Living Ice Shard. So we'll just hop into the next one. I'll pause it until... Alright guys, and we got one, and this guy's got a much scarier team than the last one, I can say that much. He's uh, got a lot of things off the ground, a couple of ground types. Sceptile does pretty well here, as long as the uh, Flygon or the Noivern aren't Scarfed. Obviously one of the two is going to be Scarfed, but Sceptile definitely puts in a lot of work. Slurpuff can also sweep, but it needs the Needle King damaged a little bit, I believe. And of course, if his flag on is scarfed, uh, no, it doesn't outspeed me, no. Noivern would if it was scarfed, but I can pretty much just safely lead his elf here. It's perfectly fine. We actually get to see if his flag on is scarfed, which is cool. Uh, right here. If he is scarfed, he's going to outspeed us, exactly. And uh, that's good knowledge. That's great knowledge. As we are going to be able to get up our rocks right here, and now I can just throw off a psychic. Uh, and do a lot of damage to this Conkeldur as he goes for a knockoff and takes out his elf. That's perfectly fine. He has only one form of hazard removal being his Flygon. Well, his Noivern can have Defog too, I think. But his Flygon is Scarfed, which means it's more than likely not. Um, here, let's go Arcanine, I think. If Psychic did that much, that's super effective. He's coming off of a little more special attack than this. 1.5 times about. Yeah, Flamethrower should be good to take this thing out, I think. Um, and either way we get the Intimidate off, so just gonna throw out that Flamethrower. 
as we act he actually lives on one, which is unfortunate. He's gonna knock himself out the Rocky Helmet, but not exactly what I was looking for to happen. And uh, now he gets a switch into his Nido King, which is also an issue. Let's see, what can we do to this thing? I can go into Vaporeon on this. That's fine. We are especially defensive, so we were able to take that very nicely. And now we can just throw off Scald. As he goes for a Thunder, we should be able to live that as well. And Scald here is going to knock out his Nido King, which is awesome. We can actually wish up on his Swampert, I believe, unless it's carrying Earthquake, which it should be, obviously. As he chooses to go into Noivern, okay, well, I'm going to protect right here and see what he wants to do. If he has the Defog, he's going to go for it right now. Well, he might also go for Dragon Move, but uh, more than more than likely going to Defog. I just want to see what he wants to do. He goes for Boom Burst, going to be able to protect that. That's a normal move, right? I'm going to go for Wish right here and see how much it does. It's actually able to knock us out, which means he's pretty much confirmed Specs. But I can go into Dawn Fan and immediately threaten this thing out and get a knockoff off on something. As he boom bursts again, okay. Well, I'm just going to knock you off and get rid of your choice specs, exactly. That's that's what it was. And we're going to be able to Ice Shard right here and knock out his Noivern. Unfortunately, lost our Assault Vest there on that turn. But Dawn Fan can actually still put in work. Uh, I believe it is... Uh, no, it wouldn't be faster than Mega Swamper, but... Uh, but it can still knock off the Cresselia and Ice Shard the Flygon, which is why I'm probably going to want to keep it around. He does bring in his Swamper, perfectly fine. I've got a Sceptile in the back, and I'm actually going to go into Arcanine right here. As you you will see that this Waterfall is uh, not going to be enough to take us out. Uh, he's actually going to go for Rain Dance right here. Interesting. Uh, so he's going to be faster than our Sceptile. He's going to be able to Ice Punch it. I want to know if a minus one Ice Punch takes out regular Sceptile. Let's see. Swampert. Mega Swampert. OU Rain Sweeper. With Ice Punch, do you take out regular Sceptile at minus one? Mega Sceptile, but in regular form, all out attacker. At minus one, it does not. So, what do I want to do here? What I want to do is sack this. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to live that hit. And we're going to be able to get a burn off here, which is amazing because now I'm going to roar just in case he wants to switch. He actually chooses to stay in because now we can go into Slurpuff and win right here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. His waterfall is not going to do anything. He's burned in at minus one, so I don't care if it's in the rain. I'm just going to belly drum up. As you can see, his waterfall does 34%. He actually gets the flinch there, which is really unfortunate. And I'm going to go Sceptile, because I need this thing to keep him from outraging, I think. I think that's my play. Yeah, I'm going to go into Sceptile here. We're going to be able to take this Waterfall, no problem. Because it does 23%, actually. That was a lot more than I thought it would. But he is no longer in the rain, which means we outspeed him. And we're going to be able to Mega Evolve and go for the... Dragon Pulse in case he wants to switch out. We're going to be able to knock him out. And he can't lock himself into the move that knocks me out, basically. So I'm just going to go for a Giga Drain right here as he goes for a U-turn. It is super effective, but it's not enough to take us out. Because we're going to get off a big Giga Drain on this Cresselia. Obviously, this is a special monster, but still going to be able to do a lot right there. And now I can go for a Leaf Storm, I think. It is fine. Um, let's see. Oh, I'm gonna Giga Drain again. That way, if he wants to Moonblast, we're okay. He actually goes for Calm Mind right there. And that's a little bit of an issue. Hmm. Should've seen that one coming. Going to, uh... What can I do here? I'm gonna go for Giga Drain again. Get a crit right there, which means if we would've gone for the Leaf Storm, we would've been okay. But now we can actually Leaf Storm and knock him out. I think Giga Drain did 25 without his special attack increases, so yeah, Leaf Storm should be able to knock this thing out, as it does. And now his only way to knock out all of my Pokemon is to lock himself into into the ground move, uh, but we resist that. I'm actually going to just Dragon Pulse here as he goes for Earthquake. Perfectly fine. Just gonna Pulse, knock this thing down to 17, and we have the Ice Shard on the Dawn Fan in case he crits us, and that's gonna be a good game. That crit was really fortunate for us, not gonna lie. He actually just straight up leaves, doesn't even forfeit. <laughs> just uh, closed his browser there, but uh, we're gonna, gonna get a third game here. 
Um, if I leave, I forfeit, so let's just hop back in here, get another game in the meantime. He shouldn't come back even if he does. All we have to do is click Ice Shard, so... This guy's got a cool team. I like Chestnut, man. I drafted it. I love it. Um, Chandelure is a little bit of an issue, but I'm going to... Hmm. Vaporeon lead is nice. Vaporeon lead is very nice. Yeah, I like Vaporeon lead. Because he leads with the Chandelure, exactly. And if he goes for Energy Ball, even if he specs, he's not going to take us out. We're specially defensive, so I'm pretty free to Scald right here. As you can see, that only does 40%. And the Scald is going to do 92. <laughs> so I'm going to be able to Wish right here. Uh, even a Crit doesn't take us out at this point. We're going to get off this Wish, and we're just going to go for another Scald on his Crafty. Perfectly okay. This Crafty can't do much to uh, Slurpuff unless it's got Poison Jab, so I'm not really worried. Uh, obviously, Shed Skin could be a problem on this, but I'm actually going to go into Arcanine right here. And that way, if he wants to Dragon Dance again, I can roar him out. He goes for the knockoff. That's good. Going to be able to click... I'm going to click Willow. I'm going to click Willow because he's still going to be burned on this first turn. So his Drain Punch is going to do nothing, and with the burn... It's going to bring him down to about the same amount. And his Shed Skin doesn't activate if he does have it, so... We're gonna be able to go for Morning Sun. He'll back up. He's gonna go for another Dragon Dance. And he's gonna get the Shed Skin that time, which is a little bit scary. As uh, now I'm pretty much forced to roar. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. He's gonna Drain Punch us. It still only does 32%, and we're gonna be able to get this Scrafty out of here. His Aggron comes in, and I'm gonna go for another Willow right here. He has the Chandelure at 8%. Which is why I'm actually hesitant on doing that. Uh, he would go for an Earthquake to hit us. If he's going to attack. So I'm going to go into his Elf, actually. Because I don't think his Chandelure is Specs. I think it's Scarfed, actually. So I'm going to go right out into Vaporeon on this thing. I don't want to lose my Azelf Sash just yet. He's going to go for Shadow Ball. does absolutely nothing. And now we can throw off another Scald as he goes into his tentacruel. Cool. Potentially get a burn on this, as we do not, but that's okay. I can just go for another one right here. Don't have a really good answer to tentacruel, to be honest. This team isn't uh, packing anything very good for it. It's gonna go for Giga Drain right there. It's gonna do absolutely nothing. Just gonna wish up now as tentacruel is burned. He doesn't have a cleric on his team, like a, uh, a Florgis or anything like that. So we're pretty good here. He goes for Sludge Bomb. Problem is, neither do we, and he just got a poison, so I'm gonna have to go for... I'm gonna have to go for another Scald right here. That really sucks. He goes for Water Absorb, not sure why. Uh, he, goes <laughs> he doesn't go for Water Absorb, that's not a move, guys. He goes for Scald, and uh, I don't know why he did that, but... I'm gonna be able to switch out right here. And what I'm gonna do is go into his Elf, actually. Because uh, no one move takes me out. I'm able to get up rocks if he wants to spin indefinitely He will eventually go down as he actually chooses to go into chestnut. So that's actually great for us I'm just going to I'm just gonna set up my rocks here I don't even want to psychic this thing just yet because he has a scrafty goes for spiky shield right there So we're gonna be able to psychic on this turn. He might think we don't have it or he might think we're physical Either way, Psychic is just a good play overall. As his Zagron comes in, it's great that this thing is weakened because now Slurpuff can actually sweep him with a Belly Drum up. His Tentacruel is burned, comes in on rocks. Mamoswine's Sash is broken. Chandelure goes down to rocks at this point. Chestnut gets Okoed by Play Rough, and so does Scrafty. Yeah, I'm going for a, Slur a Slurpuff sweep. And I'm going to taunt this thing right here in case it wants to go for its own rocks. As it does. Awesome. And I'm just going to U turn here go into our Arcanine as he goes for a Heavy Slam and that does absolutely nothing and now and now and now and now I go back into his Elf and pressure whatever wants to come out as he forfeits so we're able to pick up that win as well great games guys uh, great wins and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed if you did hit that like button down below subscribe if you want to see more lives like this obviously tomorrow is going to be RU I'm going to try to build an RU team really quickly and get another uh, recording in here before before I go to sleep and uh, yeah that's pretty much it leave a comment down below if you have anything uh, that you want to if you have any questions if you have anything you want to say and uh, thanks again for watching guys ciao